Hello YouTubers. We have a problem here and what's happened is the bifold closet door has fallen off the hinges. And this is the main metal pivot point upon which the bifold door typically rests and you can see all the debris from underneath the door having broken off and so I'll show you a repair for this type of problem. So here are just a few of the tools that you might be interested in uh, using to complete the repair. The first is a uh, electric stapler uh, that can also shoot brad nails, a hammer, a uh, bear claw, some clamps, a long screwdriver, flathead, a uh, nail punch, needle nose pliers, glue, and a pick set. Uh, now I uh, initiated the uh, repair and I've uh, completed some of it already and so you'll see some of the repair already completed and I'll just outline what I've done so far. So what had happened was you can tell from this hole here it's much larger than the other hole that is not being used. And what happened here was the a pivot that is designed to fit into this hole um, was stressed to the point where it actually went all the way inside the bifold. And what typically happens is because this material here is particle board and this part is actual real wood Typically, if over time or if there's excessive stress, the particle board breaks or cracks. And if you look carefully, just along here is where the crack occurred. Just along here. And that's the same area that I glued. And it also carried, full, it carried along this edge here. Um, right here, right here and there. So what I did was I took the, uh, the long um, flathead screwdriver, put it into the pivot area, pushed it open, and widened the crack, then inserted some glue into the crack that was then visible. After I inserted the glue, uh, I used the electric nail gun. You can tell in this area here, here, and here I nailed it and as well I nailed it here, here, and just uh, over there. And the purpose of nailing it was to ensure that there was a tight fit and a tight mechanical uh, seal as well as a, uh, the ad adherence of the glue uh, to the two pieces of wood that we were trying to repair. What I plan to do next is nail, uh, as you can see the nail went in from here and into there, I plan to do it on the other side, nail once, twice and perhaps thrice on the other side, thrice here, so that the uh, mechanical fastening is complete on both sides of the bifold. After I've uh, uh, let it dry for a bit, because I want this glue to set a little before I drive the nails in, I'll be uh, driving the nails in and repositioning the clamps that I have on here um, and uh, putting a little bit of, um, let's see here, a little bit of uh, tape or uh, electrical tape around this pivot point and then placing it inside um, the uh, hole, forcing it best thing to do is typically uh, screw it all the way in and then use a, a block or a hammer and hammer it right straight through. After 24 hours uh, this should be done and it should create a 
a friction fit like it was intended. Um, of course, I did put a little bit of glue inside the hole just to give it a little bit of uh, integrity because oftentimes the particle board uh, that or the particles, wood particles that are used often get loose and uh, destabilize. So the little bit of glue can just help it make sure that it stays uh, tight and strong for a longer period of time. So just to give an example of what typically happens when the bifold is working properly is this pivot point which is normally attached to the bottom of one corner of the bifold pla is placed within this um, ratcheted or grooved uh, pivot that's attached to the floor and then as the bifold moves this uh, sleeve is uh, it normally turns back and forth as you open and close the bifold. Even the sleeve, which is plastic, is pretty strong. But the wood uh, into which this pivot point um, goes into, that wood is normally a particle board or pressed wood, and that's not as strong or it's very weak. And over time, it develops cracks or uh, develops looseness. And this pivot point just push, gets pushed in from the weight of the bifold into the wood itself or alternatively it get, becomes very loose and doesn't uh, pivot properly any longer. Alright we're back and uh, we're just doing the other side of the bifold, nailing it so that this this side here this side here um, is properly nailed from both ends now you'll notice here that I uh, shot the brad nail in too close to the edge and you can see a little bit of the exposed nail. So just be careful from that, what, what angle you put it in. Now, just for demonstration purposes, this is the size of the nail that I used. And as you can tell, it doesn't go all the way through the wood. It just comes in a little bit before the end. And that's why I want to put in um, nails going the other direction as well so that it's nice and uh, tight. Um, sometimes the brad nail remains up a little and depending on how far it's already gone uh, you can either twist it with uh, needle nose pliers and just break it off or sink it with a countersink. Alright so I put in three brad nails this is what they look like and they went straight through from the top into the damaged area and of course they're proud and so what I'm going to do is use this uh, nail set and just set them in and if it's too difficult or if the material is too thick what I'll do is I'll use uh, pliers and twist them off so as you can see it's a nice clean break and if it doesn't you can always use the nail set. So sometimes it bends when you use a nail set, so that's why I didn't do it the first time. And see how it makes it flush. Okay. Alright, so. Um, I did uh, nail it in and I let it set for a couple of hours. Um, now what's happened is uh, I used a, a block of wood and I tapped the pivot point back into the hole. Now as I, remember, as I mentioned earlier, this pivot point um, is wrapped in a plastic sleeve and it does have some grooves on it but what I did in order to make the um, cir circumference a little bit larger is I wrapped some um, black tape electrical black tape around it and that gave it just a little bit of extra width and as you can tell this electrical tape isn't very thick at all and this is doubled over however once it's fully around the circumference of the uh, plastic sleeve and we've put in a little bit of extra glue in that hole already 
it enables uh, just a little bit of friction to occur without it being too big to separate the wood again. Now, I find that the black tape is ideal for this sort of circumstance because what happens is if you use regular, say, scotch tape, that will break too easily, it's too brittle. But if you use cloth tape, it's too thick and it tends to bundle up when you try to put it in a friction situation. I find that the electrical tape is ideal in the sense that it stretches, it's very mandible, but at the same time it doesn't rip very easily. See, see how I'm, I'm, I'm pulling this apart? And it's just sort of stretching with me. And uh, worst case scenario with the black tape is that if you do put a little bit too much, sometimes it'll ride over the shoulder and when it's riding over the shoulder it leaves a little bit of a gluey layer and that can always help in the uh, friction but I would recommend only one layer initially and if you need more friction pull it pull the pivot point out and give it a second layer but typically one layer is good enough as long as this um, base is fairly solid so again uh, just uh, remember to screw this all the way in before you tap it otherwise too much of the force directed onto the end of this pivot will end up on the uh, end up striking the grooves and the grooves will then perhaps give but if it's right up next to this rim here to this plastic rim here um, it there will be it will not at all put any pressure on um, the uh, the grooves that are inside that sleeve. Okay, so the next step is to remove the clamps and we'll set the uh, bifold back um, on its uh, pivot base. Okay, so this is the area that I repaired. You can see the, the three um, uh, brad nails there and the bifold is now placed within the base pivot and the upper pivot and it's standing and working normally now.